Hey everyone, I wanted to share with you uh, my latest project which is an egg incubator, a homemade egg incubator and mostly made with uh, recycled parts and uh, basically I wanted to incubate quail eggs the, this is the final result so for this uh, what I had to get is uh, an old cooler then how I power up this thing to heat it up it's a 12 volt um, light bulb so it's one of these 12 volt light bulbs and if you look at it it's a it's a 12 volt 36 watt power light bulb um, I wanted to keep it at 12 volt just easier safer to work with uh, you also need a power adapter to go with that so make sure your power adapter is uh, at least uh, can handle uh, two amps because uh, the light bulb needs a, a good amount of current um, if you don't have a 12 volt you can also power it up with a 9 volt and uh, there is no issue with that it's just gonna uh, run longer that's all no big deal um, I, I did cover it with a cage uh, just in case the chicks uh, wander around, I didn't want them to get burned by the light bulb. Um, then, just a little bowl of water. So the first two weeks, uh, you don't need much humidity, just around 50%. And that's that bowl of water is sufficient to build up enough humidity. However, after 14 days, you want the humidity to go up. And when you want that to happen, uh, just take a hard wire or a coat hanger and uh, just bend it this way. Uh, let it sit in there and then grab a towel, any towel, and then put it on top and put the uh, edges in the inside the water and let the uh, water, or soak it first and then put it on top. So that's what's going to happen is through capillary motion it's going to and through increased surface area it's gonna liberate much more humidity and uh, when I was doing that the humidity level was going up to around 70-80% uh, which is perfect for uh, hatching time um, I also decided to make this automated as much as possible and for that reason I chose to use an Arduino board so here is my Arduino um, I'm not going to explain the whole uh, wiring system, there are tutorials for that online, but uh, basically I put a, uh, a monitor in there and then uh, there is a relay that's going to control uh, the light, so the light will be turning on and off. So yeah, the light uh, will be turning on when it drops below 37 degrees Celsius and uh, will turn off when it goes above 38 degrees Celsius. Um, the other thing is there is a humidity sensor there. Uh, this is not controlling anything, it's just showing me the humidity. That also gives a temperature reading, however it's not very precise, it's around two plus or minus 2 degrees. And for that reason I used a, another uh, temperature sensor this one is very sensitive it will it's plus or minus 0.2 degrees celsius so um, i'm using that to basically um, tell me the temperature and then um, to tell me well to tell the arduino to shut off or sh turn on the uh, light bulb so right now I just started it, it's at 26.37 degrees with 18% humidity because obviously the top is open, but it will build up the heat. Uh, so the Arduino by itself cannot handle all the uh, ground and uh, 5 volt powers and for that reason I put a little piece of uh, breadboard here. So this is all my uh, plus and minus. Um, I uh, also, from the adapter, 
uh, I'm feeding the electricity to the Arduino as well as the power onto the relay that uh, controls the, uh, the the light in there. It's powering up the light. So that one power supply is sufficient. Um, the next thing, so I wanted an automated uh, system for the eggs to turn and uh, for that I was going to design it myself, however always before doing that just go on Thingiverse and see if there's something that you like out there and uh, I really liked this design here for uh, quail eggs and it works very well so I printed this and then as you can see it's these two moving uh, parts that will hold the eggs and then uh, the only thing is I reinforced these little arms with epoxy glue because uh, it was gonna break and then I put a servo on there and the servo basically controls um, the rotation so So this will be turning the eggs, oh this just came off, so this will be turning the eggs um, five, six times a day, every four hours uh, it will go right and then left so that uh, it mimics what the uh, brooding hen will do to the eggs and uh, if you want to see I'll show, so the quail eggs are about this size which is pretty amazing for a small bird laying uh, eggs so they say to put the pointy uh, the pointy part down and as you can see it's a perfect fit so that's it so this will There you go. Finally, the top is a nice thick uh, piece of uh, insulator for they use for the walls, uh, for you know residential, commercial, and I just cut a big piece. Um, the reason is easier to work with than the lid of this uh, cooler, and uh, it being thicker, it's gonna preserve more heat. And then I use another. Uh, one inch wide styrofoam to make this little casing for uh, all the Arduino parts just to tidy up a bit. You can also cover a piece of uh, another styrofoam which I haven't done yet I just put a cardboard to cover everything and just keep your uh, LCD screen. And um, I made a little opening here so that I don't have to remove the whole cover if I need to go inside either to put new water or check what's going on or adjust something and I just cut a piece of uh, plexiglass and that's it see it also makes it nice to observe what's going on in there so next step would be to get some nice fresh fertilized eggs uh, this can hold, handle 10 at a time. You can put more, obviously, if you uh, make another one of these. Or you can, if you don't want to skip the, um, the moving mechanism, you can just lay them all on the bottom and then move with your hands, at which point you can probably put over 50 eggs in there. And then um, start incubating. And they say to incubate for two weeks, and after that, uh, day 15, 16, 17, uh, increase the humidity and uh, stop the movement and then wait for the babies to hatch. I hope this, uh, this video will help you make your own and uh, good luck with your uh, project.